God showed me the truth. Allah showed me the truth. Jesus Christ is not God. Hi, my name is Brooklyn, and I'm a Muslim. I grew up being a Christian. I wasn't looking for any other religion. I didn't think there was any other religion, just to be honest with you. One thing that I always consistently prayed for, though, was guidance. I prayed that God would guide me. No matter what I was doing, no matter the bad things I was doing, the good things I was doing, just as long as I was praying, I was praying for guidance. And that's why when I discovered Islam, I knew that I was guided. I had been praying to God for guidance in the name of Jesus for over 20 years, since I was six, seven years old. And I was guided to Islam at 25 years old. Finally, I had learned about it. I never knew that there was another religion that made more sense than Christianity. He is one. God is not a trinity. No book that was sent ever said anything about a trinity. So how could Christianity be true? How could Christianity be true when Jesus said, pray to God? Jesus prayed to God. And so if Jesus is praying to God, then that's two different entities. You can't say that they are one. Jesus wasn't praying to himself. Now that I am grown and I use my own logical brain, and actually, I can think back as a kid. I remember as a little girl, I logically knew that it didn't make sense that Jesus wasn't God. I was confused about the Son of God thing because that's what people were teaching me, but Jesus is a man. He is a person, peace be upon him, just like me. He is a person with flesh and bones. He uses the bathroom and eats and sleeps and there's I remember as a little girl like the thought of him being God that wasn't right I just thought he was like a special man that could maybe hear my prayers too I prayed in the name of Jesus to God my whole life I prayed for guidance and finally I found Islam I remember when I was a Christian and my friend told me about Adam and Eve and how Muslims believe Adam and Eve. I was like, what? 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 Muslims know about Adam and Eve? I was like, yeah. And he starts telling me like all these stories and these detailed stories about all the prophets and Moses and Noah, Jesus, Abraham, these people on the ball. And I'm just like, what? Because I, and you know, Christianity, they, they don't, they don't make these things clear and, and they don't have the stories right because the books have changed. And I learn more and more about Islam and I'm starting to realize that there's only really two main differences in these two religions. In Islam, we don't believe that God has children. Secondly, all the rules that are in Islam literally are in Christianity too, except we actually practice them in Islam. All the Christians I know, which are like all the people that I know, they don't, they, they are nothing like Muslims. <laughs> What's something that you know that you wish the whole world knew? I'll go first. I know that God is one and he has no son. He is not born of anything, nor did he give birth to anything. And there is nothing comparable to him. This is also a verse, in, or this is a, a chapter in the Quran, and it goes like this: Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kuhu Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulid, wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad. <laughs> As 
as a lot of you know, my mother recently converted to Islam, alhamdulillah, and she was asking me questions about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, and when Prophet Isa comes, returns to defeat him, and... God is only one. And if you knew what I knew, then you would believe too. Please, pray for guidance. Salam alaikum. Islam is not for everybody. If you're a Muslim, you should be so happy, so content. Because if you were born a Muslim, you reverted to Islam, you converted to Islam, you have been given a religion that has been perfected to the T. It doesn't matter what you think about it, it's been perfected. It is perfect. Not everybody can call themselves a Muslim because not everybody deserves Islam. Allah chooses who will be Muslim. So just know that you are the one percent. You are the luckiest person on the planet. So don't take it for granted. For if Allah so willed, you could become a disbeliever tomorrow. You could be a person that worships a person tomorrow. And you will be one of the losers. Assalamu alaikum.